and welcome back to my channel which is Ganesh Institute channel we are again here to with a new video which is based on digestion and absorption in that also we are going to discuss today about the role of enzymes present in different organs of a human body in a human body so firstly let us start with mouth mouth contains salivary amylase an enzyme also called as ptyalin which converts starch into maltose it requires basic medium which is provided by saliva now we are moving towards stomach stomach has two enzymes pepsin and renin pepsin is the activated form of pepsinogen which becomes activated by the action of hcl acid pepsin converts proteins into proteoses and peptones whereas renin convert milk proteins into proteoses and peptones renin is present in adult humans as well as in calves let us move towards small intestine small intestine receives bile juice from liver pancreatic juice from pancreas and intestinal juice also called as succus entericus Liver secrete bile juice with two bile pigments called bilirubin and bilirubin. Actually, liver does not contain any enzyme, but it has bile juice, so it plays a vital role in digestion. So, moving towards the function of bile juice, then we see here that bile juice helps in emulsification of fats and activate lipases. Pancreatic juice helps in the digestion of proteins into proteoses and peptones by the action of trypsin and that also converted into peptides it contains a series of enzymes firstly we have discussed about trypsin now it turns to read about chymotrypsin chymotrypsin converts milk protein into peptides Pancreatic amylase convert starch into maltose and lipase convert diglycerides and monoglycerides which are basically fats into fatty acids and glycerols nucleic acids are converted into nucleotides within the presence of nuclease let us move towards succus entericus that is intestinal juice intestinal juice also contains so many enzymes Firstly let us talk about enterokinase. Enterokinase converts trypsinogen into trypsin. Nucleotides are converted into nucleosides with the help of nucleotidase enzyme. Nucleosides are converted into nitrogen bases and sugars with the help of nucleosidase. Sucrose is break down into glucose and fructose by the action of sucrase maltose is converted into glucose and glucose in the presence of maltase whereas lactose which is milk sugar converted into galactose and glucose by the action of lactase so so far we have discussed about the digestion and the role of enzymes in digestion now it's turn to have some absorption so absorption is done by the part of cecum and colon of large intestine this absorbed part is used in performing various activities inside the tissues and this process of utilization is called assimilation the third part of large intestine called rectum is used in storage of fecal matter fecal matter that is undigested food products Now the last step is ejection or defecation which is so called the removal of fecal matter In this way we have discussed about the digestion and absorption in human physiology If you like my channel then don't forget to subscribe it share it and comment over it Thank you